Winter is here again in New England, and that means more time for some RC projects. It's been a while, but um, I got my hands on this CR01 last year. I traded a short course truck for it, and uh, this thing's in good shape, minimal scratches, and ran it for about two minutes stock, and then uh, went ahead and tore it all apart. So I started with these uh, aluminum shock brackets I made um, to lower the ride height. It doesn't have, it didn't come with that uh, cantilever setup that's stock. But I probably would have taken that off anyway, just for simplicity's sake. Um, that lowered it nice. I've always preferred a lower centered rig over something that has a ton of ground clearance because, I mean, wheel speed can usually get you out of most situations that uh, a huge uh, ground clearance rig is just going to flip constantly. And I get really aggravated when your rig's always flipping when you're out on the trail. So I guess we'll start at the back. Nothing fancy. Just trying to do a budget build. Um, just something I could film and mess around with. I went on strc.com and they have really cheap aluminum options for this thing. Got the rear lockouts, which uh, come with alum uh, not aluminum, stainless steel straight axles for inside of there. Um, that's pretty nice. I think it was like literally like ten bucks. It's really cheap stuff. I also relocated the uh, lower links from the I think they were right, right there. They were on like a ball stud, and I put Traxxas rod ends on there, and I had to shorten up the links quite a bit front and back. Just because of how much I lowered it to make everything uh, function smoothly so there wasn't any binding. And right now I still have stock drive shafts. I really got to swap those out for either Wraith or the Traxxas HD ones I was thinking. That come with the um, Slash 4x4 and such. Those are decent drive shafts. I think those would hold up enough. <clears throat> On the front, also some STRC parts. Uh, knuckles and C-hubs. Did a little bit of grinding on both of them. Just to uh, maximize the stern, uh, turn radius. Everybody complains that these things turn poorly, so <clears throat> I made sure I did what I could. It looks respectable now. Haven't ran it yet, but we'll find out. Um, I had a high tech 645 MG laying around. Threw that in there with an aluminum horn. And um, I'm going to be running this on a Castle 6 volt BC. So I should have some decent power. I already uh, made up a nice little aluminum upper steering link. I still got to fabricate the lower one. Whenever I get time. Um, stock tires and wheels for now. I'd like to run 1.9s. I know some people online complain that these axles are too wide for 1.9s, but I've seen some pictures and I think it looks uh, looks all right. Um, I'm gonna be running to my silver can motors. I like these things; they're cheap, so I just stock up on them and I can go mudding or whatever and don't really care if you smoke one. It's like five bucks on eBay. I think I'm gonna stick with this Futaba. Speaker trailer it came with. Seems alright from the uh, little runtime I have on it. So basically, now at this stage, I gotta order some drive shafts, the uh, front link, front steering link, and um, run it and tweak from there pretty much. Let me know what you think.